Hi Laura. What are you doing? I'm making myself some iced tea. It's so warm today. I had to put a lot of ice cubes in my glass to make my tea really cold. Your ice cubes have already melted. How is that possible? The tea hadn't cooled down completely. It was still warm when I put the ice cubes in. So the heat from the tea was transferred to the ice cubes and it made them melt. The heat was transferred? Yes. Heat can pass from one object to another. So, some of it passed from the tea to the ice cubes. The ice cubes melted, and the tea got a bit cooler. Sometimes, if I've been out in the cold, and I'm freezing, Dad makes me a hot cup of tea, and then I get warm. That's right. The heat from the tea gets into your body, and warms you up. But how does the heat get into the tea to begin with? To make tea, you have to boil some water. There are different ways to boil water, but I usually boil water for my tea in a tea kettle. But in order for water to start boiling, some heat energy needs to be transferred to it. Heat energy? Yes. I put the kettle on the stove. The stove needs to get really hot, and then transfer its heat to the water in the kettle. But how does the stove get hot? You need to turn it on. And do you know what happens then? The stove is connected to the electricity. So, when you turn on the stove, some electricity passes through the cables and into the stove. The electrical energy then gets turned into heat energy. And where does this electrical energy come from? It can come from different sources. Sometimes it comes from the sun. The light energy from the sun gets absorbed by solar panels, which then turn it into electricity. Okay, so let me see if I understand. First, the sun produces light energy. The light energy gets turned into electrical energy in the solar panels. This electrical energy gets sent to our homes. When we turn the stove on, this electrical energy gets converted into heat energy. The heat energy makes the water in the kettle boil. And then we can make our tea, which is very hot, and can warm us up on a cold day. Exactly. Wow, that's amazing. So, how do ice cubes get so cold? And where does electricity go, when we turn off the stove? How about the sun? Where does it get its light energy from? Why is it so hot in the sun during the summer? Can we go find out? Sure. But let's have a glass of iced tea first. <laughs>